get ready to hear the scariest story you've ever heard. Is it the one about Gladys skinny dipping in the lake? If you listen closely, you can still hear the fish screaming. No, it's the tale of my ancestor, Olga. The daughter of Kikiwaka founder Jedediah Swearingen. Olga was the camp fox. Much like me. This story just went from scary to delusional. But Olga loved another counselor, Roland, and they used to meet in secret at the tool shed. Nothing says romance like rat poison. Roland would bring Olga candy and they would signal each other with a whistle. That's a good idea. Our duck calls draw way too much attention, specifically from ducks. Don't go! <sighs> Tiffany, I know you're scared, but you can't come to the bathroom with me. It's okay, I'll close my eyes. Never mind, I'll hold it. <laughs> and you should know, ghosts don't exist. I thought you believed in that thing. You have to take it in school, with those wrinkly white coats and ugly goggles. <laughs> Science? Oh, that's the one. I do. And Einstein proved that energy can't be created or destroyed. So what does that energy become when we die? Ghosts. Yeah. I see ghosts in New York all the time. Like stares on their faces, moaning creepily. Sorry, those are models. <laughs> Guys, there's no such thing as ghosts. I don't know. That story about Olga really freaked me out. You thought that was scary? I once found a loose thread on my favorite sweater. I kept pulling and pulling, and then... That was my sweater. She also gets freaked out when ice disappears in her drink. Where does it go? <laughs> Maybe the raccoon was going out on a date. <laughs> and look at these letters scratched in the door. So the raccoon can spell? Forget the raccoon. <laughs> Right? <laughs> she's a Guys, road, she's a I called stone. town for help, but they told me the roads are washed out. And then the phone went dead. It's Olga. She's cut us off from the world so she can take us out of the world. <clears throat> Snorty, I'm a coming. Don't worry, Xander. I'll keep you safe. This actually makes me feel less safe. Perhaps Olga is benevolent. I don't care what religion she is. <laughs> She's gonna kill us. I meant she may just be looking for our help. According to ghostologists, a spirit only roams this mortal plane if it has unfinished business. Olga's unfinished business is that she never got the chance to marry Roland. But how can we help a ghost get married? And where were they honeymoon? Death Valley? <laughs> Obviously, we should throw a wedding and have someone stand in for Olga. Someone like her descendant, Hazel. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm not going to be in some freaky ghost wedding just to appease a cranky dead chick. <laughs> Xander could stand in for Roland. Here comes the bride. <laughs> this is going to be a whole new level of bridezilla. <laughs> In my son, that's why I be like, chat, chat.